Okay, this is a software overview. This is where I look at programs that you may not be familiar with, something that might be useful to you. Uh, and today we're going to look at Clipman. Now, there's a couple of programs in Linux that uh, do this, um, but I'm going to look at uh, Clipman today. Uh, actually I actually think it's called XFC4 Clipman in your repositories because it is uh, designed for the XFC uh, desktop environment, but it will work on other desktop environments as well. So once that's installed, you can run it, you can look for it in your uh, software list. So I'm going to say Clipman, there it is. And once I click that, you'll see that the icon down here by my clock appears. It says Clipman and it looks like a clipboard. When I click on it, uh, let me clear out because it has some previous stuff in it. You can see by default it will say clipboard is empty and it'll be a, a clear button you can't click. So at this point I can start highlighting stuff and I can press control C to copy, highlight, control C to copy, highlight, control C to copy. So I just copied three different things. And of course I can go into a text editor here and I can control V and paste the last thing I, I copied. Well Clipman keeps a history of things you've copied. So I can go back here and I go, oh, now I want to go back and paste this. And now I want to paste this. So it's nice to be able to go back. Maybe you copied something working on a project, but then you copied some other stuff. And you don't want to go and find that thing three things ago that you copied. It will all be here in your history. Uh, and you can obviously clear this out at any point, which is important to think about if you ever copy something important like a social security number or a credit card number. You don't want that laying around in your history. If we right click this, we can go up to properties. You can also disable it if you want for a time. Uh, you can change the history size. By default, it's going to remember the last 10 things you copied. You can have it save on quit, uh, store the last copied images enabled by default, and ignore selections. Uh, as I have shown you in a previous video, if you're in Linux, you can highlight something and right away it's copied and you can center click to paste that anywhere. So by default, uh, Clipman's ignoring those, which is good because again, you might be highlighting a lot of stuff that might be private information and you don't want it sitting around in a history. Uh, so it ignores that, but if you want that, you can uncheck that and that will be on. And uh, I would also recommend turning off save on quit that way when you restart your computer so you know that things aren't sitting there for people to find later on. It's nice to have it there when you sit in there working but you may not want that stuff stored for a long time. But that's up to you what you decide to do. Uh, we also have stored last uh, image copied. So let's go ahead and close that real quick. I am going to go to my website here and I can highlight and copy this, highlight and copy this, and I can right click the image and say copy image. Now I can open up something like GIMP, image editor, create a new image, and I can, let me copy the text there, and then I'll go in and I'll create text here, control V to paste the text. Okay, now let's say I want to paste that image. Now I can go back to the page and copy it, but let's say I close that window. I can come here and the image is listed here in my history as well. I can click that and then come back to GIMP and say control V to paste it and make it a new layer. Uh, and then I can also again add some more text here and I can go here and go, oh, I believe in freedom, paste that. So it's nice having that history there. So I just thought I'd share this application with you if you were unaware of it. Again, there's at least uh, one or two other programs that are fairly similar uh, in Linux. Uh, this one I just like. I like uh, the design of some X, uh, XFC stuff. Uh, also, let's uh, look a little more at these properties. Uh, let's see, tweaks. So there's, there's other options in here that you may want to look at um, that I haven't really messed with myself. So again, and when you're done, you can always quit out of it if you don't want to use it anymore. So I thank you for watching this. Maybe this program will be useful to you. And as always, I uh, please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Uh, check out the link in the description, and I hope that you have a great day.